welcome back. In this episode, we're going to set up Image Print Red to make our first print. And before we can do that, we need to make sure that the printer driver is properly installed for your printer. On a Mac, there's two types of printer drivers. There's the actual OS level printer driver from the manufacturer, and there's something called AirPrint. And we need to make sure that the AirPrint driver is not installed. Let's take a look at how to do that. In System Preferences, go to Printers and Scanners, and you can look at the printer drivers you have installed on your system. Notice this one says Canon Pro 2000. I'm going to scroll down here to my Epson SCP800 printer and notice next to it it says AirPrint. Now AirPrint is an Apple technology that doesn't use a driver to print with. So if you have an AirPrint driver installed for your printer, you're going to need to remove it Let's do that and install it again as a non-AirPrint driver. Select Add Printer. I'm going to go to my P800. And down below here, where it defaults to AirPrint, I want to choose the actual driver, Epson SC P800 series, and add that. Once that's added in, you're ready to use it. Now back in Image Print, under our printer selector, I'm going to choose Setup. And that actually brings up a list of our available printers. Under Printer, I'm going to choose that driver I just installed. And we're going to set things up for printing. I'm just going to do a test print to begin with, so I'm going to keep my paper at a letter size page. And I need to go check a few things. Now with image print for color matching on a Macintosh, we automatically turn off color management in the driver. This way image print is managing all the colors. On a Windows machine, I'm going to show you a little bit later in this video the proper settings to set. The next thing we need to choose is printer settings. This is going to allow us to choose the paper we're going to do our test print on. And for now, I'm going to go into the media type and select just plain paper. And once I do that, I'm not going to worry about any other print settings because plain paper is just going to use sRGB to print. And for now, I just want to make sure I've established connection to the printer before I put in a good sheet of paper. So I'm going to select OK. And we'll notice down here it says P800 series standard. And that's because I'm printing on plain paper. The next thing we need to do is drop an image onto our layout page. I'm going to use one of our sample images and that came in just fine and I'm going to tell it to center it on the page and now we're ready to just come over to the dashboard and hit print. That job is now going to be sent to our spooler system. Now remember to load our spooler we go over to the right and we choose the little spooler icon. That's going to bring up our spooler. Now there's my job at the top of the spooler and it's getting ready to print. We can see that the queue is ready and it's printing that job. It's a small image so it's already sent it over to the printer. And now we're just waiting to the, for the printer to complete that job. If there's any errors in printing that job, they're going to show up in the right log dialog. Now if you've installed Image Print Red in demo mode, you're going to get some errors in the log. It's going to tell you that the dongle or valid license was not found. But if it says that no job will be sent to the printer, we need to check our demo mode behavior. Go up to Q, Demo Behavior, and if you're set to Do Not Print If Demo, change that to Do Print If Demo. 
Now you can drag your job back up to the top of the active jobs and your job should print. Once the printer finishes printing, the job is going to move from the active jobs queue to the saved jobs queue. And if everything finished without error, you're ready to load some good photo paper and start learning the features of image print. On Windows, let's take a look at how to set the color management in the print driver for use with Image Print Red. I've selected my Epson P800 series driver and under Main, let's go down to Mode and select ICM. Once we do that, we can select the Advanced tab next to it and under ICM Mode, we want to choose Host ICM. After we do that, select OK and the print driver will now remember those settings so you won't have to set it again. Now Canon does it a little bit differently, so let's look at what Canon does. I've selected my Canon Pro 2000 driver and on the main tab for color mode, I want to go to color settings and I want to choose ICM. You're going to get a dialog that asks you if you want to change this mode. Select yes and then you can select OK to return back to the main page. Again, the driver is going to remember these settings, so you only have to set it once. Now you're ready to continue with the rest of your print setup in ImagePrint Red.